Welcome to another free minute tutorials brought to you by Gen Data Soft. My name is Joseph Nyakon and I'm your instructor for today. Today I will be taking you through the process of how to change your school information. So for instance, if you want to change the name of the school to your desired school, um, you watch this video. Now first of all, what you have to do is you log in by entering your username and the password. Once you're done, you press the enter key. Once you enter, press the enter key, it takes you to the main menu. Now from the main menu, you click on settings. Once you click on settings, you see you move to change my school name. Or you can simply click on advanced settings that is when you have an access to the internet so once you click on advanced settings it opens my school information for you now this is where you have to enter all the details there so there you enter your company name or your school name so i'm going to point in delsi montessori educational you no know, i should use uh, international school i would in the address you change it to your desired address so so if you look at what we have here it is going to reflect on all the uh, printed copies that goes out so for instance the school receipt that is the name that is going to have when you look at the student bill too it will have the name there so I have Goldfield School Complex. You look at the terminal report, it reflects there the broadsheet. You can also look at the payroll and all that. So that is what it means. Once you change the name here, it reflects on all the receipts that goes out. Now you enter the city, the phone number, the email, and, uh, and all the other information we have. The, then you also add a logo to it. Now to add a logo to it, you simply double click on it and you it open the bitmap information. Then you paste form. You click on paste here and you paste form. Then you select the location of where your logo is. Then you just click on it. And you click on OK and I'll change it to GoFails. And you can also do the same thing for the signature. Once you're done with the signature, you move on to the SMS section. Now, the SMS section, we have the SMS name. So, the SMS name is the name that goes out to the parent. So, for instance, if you look at this, this is a, a screenshot of um, some of the text messages. So, if I change the name Macris School, so that is how the message will be, uh, will be received. So, that is how they receive it. I'll change it to GoFails. Go and if I send a message, it will reflect on their, uh, on their phones or their parent phones that the message is from the GoFails School. That is how it is then that is an account so you create an account for the school so once you click on that button then you click on save but to be able to click on save to create an account an sms account for your school you need to be connected to the internet to be able to do that then you also paste the signature you also go through the same process you use so you paste from then you select the signature once you've scanned it then after that you shut down the software or you shut down the database then you launch it back again um, i think that is all if you have any issues or anything you didn't understand in this video you could um, contact me on the helpline below or you could call. Thanks for watching.